Hello. And welcome back to Let's Play Evernoon. What is this? 12? I think it is 12. Let's be certain. Yes, it's 12. Part 12. And in part 12, we find Pavner, Knees, or Cooper. Pavner or Cooper. No, we don't want to shop. Hector, 60 miles north. Bavner or Cooper? Okay, where is Bavner and Cooper? Design, shader, South Point Lighthouse. Bavner, 35 miles east. You work your way through the thick forest. The canopy of branches overhead blocking out the sun's light. Okay, the same description as the past one. And more roaches. Oh god, that made bite it, bite, strong bite, yeah. I even lost the ability of speak. Speaking, okay. I don't even speak good, especially in social situations, so it's kinda good. Explanations, yay! Die, roaches! We are the roach extermination team! Oh god, I think I will have to sneeze. No, 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 no false alarm. Burn them with fire! Kill it before it lays eggs! All those? Good. There we go, it's good! It's good. Night is falling upon us. Is this Bavner? I yeah. Webwood. Cooper. Cooper. Ah, there is Cooper right there. But let's go into Bavner first. Bavner. Name the town of Bavner. Okay. Let's ask people if they can. Is this the inn? It doesn't look like the inn. Ah, shrine to Anama. Yep, we are staying clear of you guys. Ah, oh, trainer! Train! Where is my coins? I have five coins, I can't train. <laughs> Yay, too poor to advance. Obey the law, obey the law. Mm. This house has been abandoned and the roaches have gladly taken it over. Droppings are everywhere, and the dried up roach husk over two feet long, not counting the antenna, lies in the bed. Roach bed. You open the top drawer of the desert and interrupt several croachers who are in the process of getting intimate. The creatures have compressed themselves to a remarkable extent to fit themselves in the drawer. They are much bigger now. Okay. <laughs> Yay! Bloody humans, but there is three of them. <laughs> they had a threesome. Road to threesome. Bleh. Okay, no, no, don't think about that stuff. Road sex. Road sex. <laughs> Farmers working in the fields. <coughs> okay. I guess this is the end. Hello, I need some friendly spiders. Well, they are. You make a small talk with her, but that you don't learn. You make a small talk, but you don't learn anything useful. This looks like one of the standard Anima barracks, but it's here for the benefit of the travels. You can spend a few coins to obtain a rather good place to spend the night. Uh, talk. Spoon. You meet short scruffy keeper of this extremely crude inn. He shakes your hand, making sure you see he's an Amarig. I'm Spurn, welcome to my little safe house. How much is a pet? A mere three coins. That much? No thank you. We'll take it. The pet is uncomfortable and the accommodations are not the least bit private. You get little rest. But it's morning. I like it. Okay, let's just get north. Somewhere. The dense forest is unusually dark and thick spider webs hung, hangs everywhere. It's creepy. 
creepy, but I guess this is the place where we find those friendly spiders. Let's see what this says. Webwood, beware of spiders. Uh, here is the den. You're cute. <laughs> you stand at the entrance to a ruin. Somebody built a complex down here, lived here, and then abandoned it. The gate you stand under is barely standing. This little town has not remained empty, however. It's occupied by spiders. Huge spiders. Lots of them. You've seen them moving around, standing guard, building and maintaining webs, and chatting. Yes, chatting. These are clearly not ordinary spiders. They are talking to each other in friendly, high-pitched, perky voices. When they send to receive, they say, Hi there, humans! Come in! We won't eat you! We promise! The things seem friendly, and yet you start to feel awake with a sense of disquiet. You're cute! Wee! <laughs> Alrighty! Can I talk? It doesn't seem to want to talk to you. Are they throwing people down there? No. This charred pit was probably used as a smelter. There are still ashes and a bit of charcoal at the bottom. There's nothing else though. You're neat! Hi! 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 No? Uh, yeah, get out of my way please. What's that? You get 50 coins, awesome coins! Well... Nobody wants to talk to me. Okay, they have some... Talking to spider. A giant spider runs up and kisses you in the knee. Then it backs away shyly. I'm spider! It says, please that you are talking to it. I'm so glad to see you! You must confuse me with someone else. Nope, I'm looking for a mate. Okay, why do you want a mate? It shies away and if it was capable, you would think it's blushing. It's good to make baby spiders! And you're cute! I'm flattered by... Yeah. No, but you're cute and tall, I like you! You sit down and patiently explain that you would make very poor parents for baby spiders. It understands and walks away sadly. Oh, No. Leave it? Okay. No, I have spider friend. Leave the locks. Okay. What can I... Ah. What's here? Healing herbs. Hmm. But I need to find your leader. Do you have anything like that? You're cute. Ah, that could be the leader. Spider. An officious bold spider blocks your way. He doesn't want to let you go east. My name is Spider! Everyone is called Spider. It says somberly, can we go further? No! I'm Guardian Arachnid! It sends in a proud way to show his fang to puncture the poet. What are you guarding? I'm guarding our chief! You can go east until you prove you're allowed. How can we prove that we are allowed to see our chief? It thinks, unsure for a moment. How would you prove you can go to the east? Finally, it says, If you are allowed to see our chief, surely you will know his name. What is it? <laughs> is your chief name Spider? He jumps up and down happily. That's it! That's Chief Spider's name! <laughs> you can go through! <laughs> the spider wanders off looking for bugs. Right! Chief Chamber! Hello, Chief Spider! You meet an older spider. Its many brown hairs are shot through the, with wisp of grey. It has a gold circlet around his head. I'm a spider, it says. Its high-pitched voice bears the thinnest bit of authority. This is a nice home you have here. No, it isn't. It's icky and cold and sad. We wouldn't live in this yucky place if we didn't have to stay away from the humans who always want to kill us. But it's still better than the caves. We hated the caves a lot. What sort of spider are you? I'm the leader spider, it says. How do you lead the other spiders? I guided all the other spiders on the big nasty journey to the surface. I lead them in the catching of yummy bugs. And I say why we would do about those nasty cockroaches. Hmm, do you know anything about the nasty cockroaches? Cockroaches are good food, but also tough and hard to hunt. But not all bad. 
There are some friendly roaches. They live to the north, but are all hidden. Would you like to know where the friendly roaches are? Yes. Before I tell you, you need to help us. Directly northwest of here, in the middle of a circle of four big stones, is a big roach lair. Go there and some spiders will meet you. Help them kill bad roaches and tell you where the nice ones are. Okay. Killing roaches with nice spiders to find nice roaches. That's splendid. Um, uh -huh. Northwest inventory. Quest has been added to this. Help some spiders. Helping spiders, alright! As you move into this dark and shadowy cosp of tree, you notice many of the branches have spider webs of them. Very large spider webs. Grapefruit sized spiders watch you hungrily as you pass. Ah, there it is. You reach the stone circle the spider told you about and find a small bandit of giant, intelligently happy talking spiders. They are camping here chatting and munching on centipedes. When they see you approach, they perk up and run over to you. One of them says, Hi there! I'm, yes, I'm Spider. Are you ready to attack all these yummy roaches? Attack! Uttering high pitched battle cries, the spiders rush forward. Suddenly, the rocks erupt a massive number of cockroaches, none of them smaller than three feet long. Your spider allies bear poisonous fangs. A massive and disgusting battle is joined. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, let the fight begin. Spiders and roaches. I probably never saw that. Hmm, I think they will take care of everything, but let's give them a hand. A helping hand for my friend the spider. the roaches and bind them is web as they sing little happy bug eating songs. So all of them come up to thank you and try to kiss you. Victory is yours. Hooray! Now let's report to the chief. Alright, to get the web defect you must wait. Just wait. I'm neat. Alright. Spider friends. Oh gods. Hello. Spider watches you regularly. Its dignity enables it only occasionally rub against your legs. We help fight the nasty roaches. She fight the spider bounces happily. Well done! You help us get lots of yummy yummy food. You are brave and nice. The roach lair is directly straight north of here, hidden in the middle bunch middle of a bunch of trees. Take note of this. Alright. Be nice to them because they are really friendly and good. North, directly north. Get rid of webs. Yep, crap. Oh, right. Directly north. Hmm, huh. guess this is it. Win. At first, the happy, chirpy voices you hear ahead make you think you find another colony of friendly spiders. 
Then the smirch of garbage and filth hits you, and you realize that this place is inhabited by roaches. Happy, friendly roaches. Hello, roach. You're neat. <laughs> A huge cockroach, about five feet long, stands guard here. I'm guard roach, it says in a cheery, happy voice. It sounds a lot like one of the friendly spies there. The voice is a lot more disturbing, coming from a roach. Do you have a name? Sure, you can call me Gregor. <laughs> Hi, what are you doing? I'm guard roach. What are you guarding against? It's antennas twitch excitedly. You, I guess. Any mean humans or spiders come in here, I give them a big bite. You are nice and cute, though. I let you in. Okay. You reach a large cavern filled with massive heaps of fragrant filth and wandering, happily chatting cockroaches. They don't seem to be about to attack you. In fact, they yell "Hi!" when they see you. Their voices are high pitched and cheery. My God, yes. Okay, now to find a chief of the roaches, roach chief. <laughs> Where is the chief? Where is your chief? Is this everything there is? Um, I stock. Wow, I found a secret! What's here? Green tonic. Okay, shrooms and tonics. We. Where is your leader? Or should I ask and random roaches for directions? I guess maybe here? No. Hello. Crude muncher. You see a perky cockroach waving her four legs in antenna about and mumbling things in high pitch voices. She stops and barrels when she see you. I'm Crud Muncher. She has a massive egg sac sticking out from her domer. I see that you're expecting. Oh yes, it will be my first little. Later, soon I will be a proud mommy. I will talk to her. It's very beautiful. One day the sack will drop off. Then, with any luck, the babies will come out. Fine, feel they grow up to be big and strong. And what will you do after the sack drops off? I don't know. Maybe I'll find a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> ah, joy. Okay, where are the roaches? Roach leader. I need a roach leader. Or maybe I should talk to random roaches. Hello? Doombringer. You see a giant roach bustily poking at one of the tall walls of pile trash and rooting goo. It passes over to you when you see you. I'm Doombringer, it says in happy voice. It waves its antenna to you. What are you doing? I'm eating. But enough about me. You're cute. Thanks for the compliment. It waves in antenna. Aren't my fillers pretty? Sure. Yeah, I work hard on them. It moves them around elegantly. Are you busy? Oh yeah, I'm very busy. It's six. You're probably going to the field factory and won't hang around. Huh? This seems to sell it. Do you know about the field factory? Nah. Field spreaders keep going on. Field spreader keep going on about it. I forget what it was though. Where's the field spreader? Field spreader is around here somewhere. He's really cute. Ah. Field spreader. This huge cockroach starts gobbling down disgusting greyish material in turns to speak with you. I'm field spreader. It says happily poking some slime with a leg and spreading it around to emphasize the point. Sorry to disturb, but what are you doing? I'm eating silly, of course. We smart roaches have to eat lots more if we're going to stay smart. That's one of the neat things we figured out in the field factory. What is the field factory? That's where most of us, the big roaches, are born. Most of us are dumb, but some of us were born smart. We don't know why. We didn't want to get killed by humans, so we came to hide here. Mm, we remember where the factory is, is though, and we might return someday. Perhaps you can tell us more about it. Would you like to know where it's located? You're so nice. I know you wouldn't do anything mean there. Where is it? It's hidden real good. There's a walk blocking the entry that's not really there. It, you can walk through it. It's north of the biggest human town and south of the small one, in the big he hills. It's really neat. I hope you like it. Thank you for talking to me. 
Ah, so that's what we need to do to enter that place over there and be there, there, there. Right. And that's probably over here. Yeah. Ah, we have a door now. Uh, no. No, we won't go here the next time. Delete very in the town of Cooper. Let's find first the Purgatos. But we will find Purgatos. Let me... Ah, I mean... Roaches! I meant to end this episode now. But you attacked me. And I will have to fight you. And then we will end. Well... If you don't want to watch till the end, you can skip now. It's only fighting. Uh, yeah, let's do it this quickly. Get them. Make them spread the dead thing. All right. Dumb, dumb. There we go. Heal my guy. Heal him. Please get rid of the disease. Twelve. And that's all for now. See you next time. Bye bye.